Hello everybody, welcome, hello, I hope we're all doing very well, lovely to see you all here. Um, today we're going to be taking of course the uh, the lovely uh, Flight Factor Airbus A350-900 and today we're flying the Finnair livery. We're flying all the way from uh, Helsinki uh, up in Finland, the capital, all the way down to London Heathrow. It's a flight that is operated by the A350 in real life, it's one of the very few short haul, uh, long, long haul aircraft operated routes uh, due to the high level of cargo and everything that gets flown along these routes. So this is going to be pretty good fun. Um, so, yes, here we are on our lovely aircraft. I haven't really done much starter, but as you can see, it's raining quite heavily. Now, this is, unfortunately, there's no snow, which is a bit of a shame. Um, hopefully next week there will be, um, but I don't know about now. But what I can say is that I'm pretty impressed by the rain effects. So, here it doesn't look so good outside, but if we hop inside, look at the rain effects on the glass. Look at that. That is amazing. That is really impressive. I haven't done any startup yet, so we've got all that to look forward to. Um, so, might as well get cracking, I suppose. Everything's going to take a bit of time getting used to. It's been a while since I've flown this aircraft as well, so this could be quite interesting. Right, so let's drag like that. And uh, unfortunately, I can't seem to get the mouse to do the scrolling, but uh, we'll see. Daniel, good afternoon. I'm stand 554. I've got some snow. Oh, you've got some snow ground. Oh, okay. I wonder why mine, uh, my weather doesn't seem to want to let me out. Oh, there you are. Is that you there? In the Finnair A340. I'm impressed it's got you matched. That's quite good fun. A lovely Finnair A340. Beautiful. Let's just check our weather engine then. Real weather download on. I don't seem to be getting anything. I wonder if that's... Uh, let's have a look. What's the temperature? Temperature's minus one. It is minus one. Uh, I wonder if we should have anything. No, I guess not. If, it, uh, if it's decided it doesn't want to, I guess I'll leave it as that. But uh, if we zoom out... Yeah, there's no snow anywhere. It doesn't appear. Okay, well, let me just set up here, go like that, try and get some uh, features going. Oh, is that snow on top of the buildings? No, that's just the uh, concrete, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. The snow effects do work. I guess it's uh, obviously just raining instead. That's unfortunate. That's you. Brilliant. Well, let's get some fun going there. So if you hop inside, let's get our ADs set to a line. Now, unfortunately, it won't let me use the mouse scroll. I don't know if that's just a bug with the X-Plane one or if it's just the new way they're doing things. So, um... It might be a little bit slow, but uh, let's get ourselves started up. Seatbelt signs, smoking, all that. Standby compass online, the logo lights, the navigation lights. And let's fire up that good old APU. Let's get the heaters on because it is freezing outside, minus one degree. So everything's a little bit cold. Uh, right, let's get some heating inside. Get our passenger systems and stuff on. Bus ties need to go to auto. Uh, the vents can go on for the cabin fans. Brilliant. So... Now we've done that, we need to go down over to our little screen over here and get um, and get our ground equipment into the auto config position. So if we go plane at gate there and connect our ground power units, get some ground power up onto the plane. There we go. Everything's booting up. We go doors and hatches, go load configuration. That's good. And then we go to airplane. We'll start loading some weights on board the plane. So if we go to fuel firstly, block fuel for today is one... 18.6 tons. 18.6. Or uh, in kilograms, it's 18,694. Very good. See that only 8% of the total fuel capacity of this plane. So, really, really, really big, uh, big capacity on board this plane. So, quite amazing. Our zero fuel weight is 164 ish. So, if we go to the middle capacity or light, you can see they've got the different sort of presets. So, we go to the middle here and drop some people out, uh, drop some bits and bobs around the plane, 1645, that sounds good, good, implement that, and there we go, it'll do the loading of the plane there for us, so, we can go onto our checklist here, if we cycle that across, there we go, we got all our lovely bits and bobs there, field manual looking good, thank you very much, superb, right, let's get uh, powered up, so, oh yep, so there we go, if it goes green, we've done it, if it's not green, we haven't done it, NSS data to avion, oh, that's these bits, click these guys, there we go, done them. APU star and APU available, good. RMP frequencies, so down here we need to select on our frequencies. Dial up the volume. Oh. Let's see, oh we've got a tower online, 1186. My radio panels decided not to work, which is a bit of a shame, but there we go, 1186. Got that tuned up there. Superb. Squawk page needs to be selected, and the squawk master needs to be set, so master there. And the squawk is good. 
AP firelights, we won't do the test for the fires, I'm not particularly interested in doing that, but uh, they're, they're working, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, right, right, so remaining lights, okay, seatbelts are done, temperature selector switches, oh, we need to do that, make sure everyone's all happy. We've got the cargo in 15, and then we've got these, we'll dial them up a little bit just to make it slightly warmer for everyone on board the plane. Right, that's that dip done. All batteries are good. The APU Gen needs to go on. There we go. And the fault lights go off. Uh, Gens 1 and 2 need to go on. Okay. Get the fault lights. That's good. And then hydraulic pumps. Electric hydraulic pumps need to go on. Okay. So now we have flight control performance. Ooh, how much fun. Brilliant. Right, that's that bit done. Anti-skid needs to go on. Done that. Gear lever needs to be set down. Uh huh. There we go. <laughs> standby instruments need to go on. We click that switch there. Standby compass. That's about the only one. Super and the serve pages. So on this far side, serve controls. We need to turn. Oh no, sorry, it's down here. These these systems need to go on. There. Then along here, we need to turn on the terrain, weather radars, and all this stuff. The gains to auto, turbulence predicted, all to auto. There. The transponder needs to be put to the automatic position, but T-I-R-A, auto. Oh, don't want to let me do that there. Do I need to do it through here? Auto, there we go. That bit's all done. Init page, we need to open up and get our flight plan program. So, switch them back around, so we've got this on this side. A bit of a dull procedure here starting up, but that's all right. Check our IRS. They are aligning, indeed. That is good. So, go back to the main init page. Flight number. Finair 1331. That reminds me, I've got to file my flight plan over on uh, over on VAT Simulator. Let's just file that. There we go. File. We're going to be cruising at flight level 420, depending on some weather conditions. So that should be good. Right there we go. So from EFHK EGLL. Is the rain still raining? Oh, it stopped. Interesting. It's uh, quite temperamental weather, but that's quite interesting. So, c cost index of 15, cruising at a flight level of 420. Flight number again is Finair 1331. There we go. Check out IRS there. We can click align IRS and it'll align on the GPS position. Good. So, flight plan from EFHK. We're expecting to depart. From runway 22 right. Let's just check the ATIS on the server. Yep, 22 right. So, 22 right, and it's going to be the Nunto 3 November departure with no transition. That's good. So, from Nunto, we've then got an airway. We've got the Yankee 369. I've edited it slightly, the one I put on the server, so I do apologize about that. To Recto. Superb. Then from Recto, we got a next a direct waypoint to Rogme. Brilliant. Rogme. And to Amsur. Brilliant. Insert that. Check it doesn't seem too too far. We see the tons. Everything seems fine. Then we've got Asthma. After Asthma, we've got Demir. These are sort of waypoints. Demir's uh, near Copenhagen, just to keep everything moving in a good, nice, neat order as we're going across. Check our airways page then. I think it'll be November 872. Papa Alpha Mike. Mike. It's the Lima 980. Lima 980, brilliant there. And Logan. And we'll insert that. So. That is that bit done. Right, now we have to do the fuel and load page. So over on the left here, everything's been implemented there. So our zero fuel rate is 164.5. So here we go, 164.5. Oh, 164 and the zero fuel weight cargo position there is 23. Block fuel on board, 18.6. That's about all we need. So, we turn off our VORs, get rid of this stuff, turn on the constraints. I have to get rid of that some stuff. Get rid of them. And then dial up the altitude, which I think for today is about 7,000, 8,000, 7,000 on the departure. Once the INS have arrived, we can set these to the managed positions. 
Everything about that is good. Right, let's get our clearance, and then we just got to get the Q&H on board to the aircraft today, which is 1025. There we go. Oh, we've got snow. <laughs> it's it's uh, very interesting weather. Obviously, it's snowed a little bit, and now uh, you can see just the ramps have got snow. Oh, I wonder if that's just my texturing at this airport. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> oh, well. We'll see. That's, that's quite good fun. See, so we've got the lovely A340 there. And then over here, we've got some more planes. Have we, what have we got? We got uh, oh, we've got an A320. 737 over there. That's quite good fun. Right, let's radio up the tower for some clearancing. So, what stand are we on? Sierra 49. Right. Helsinki Tower, very good afternoon. Uh, Finnair... 1331 is on stand. Sierra 49, Airbus A350-900. Requesting an IFR clearance to Heathrow, please. Uh, on board we have information Zulu. Let's get our clearance. Let's get cracking. Four three zero is absolutely no problem, Earth in air thirteen thirty one. We'll just change that in our flight plan. Okay, that's changed, cool. That's changed up. That's a little bit better there. A little bit higher, I guess. I don't really we don't know until we start getting going what the wind's like and everything and then we'll see. Um shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna spam this button to get rid of that pinging. Here we are. Cleared off 22 right on the Nunto 3 November departure, initially up to 4000, squawk 4661, Finna 1331. Beautiful. Squawk is in. There you go. IRS have a INS have aligned, which is very nice. So now INS have aligned. I can put this into managed. Managed. Will it do managed? Oh, I don't want to do managed. Hmm. To scrap on. Ah, we need to do the performance. That's why. I forgot on that. Right. V1. So over here, perf calculator. The flap setting for today is from me one. We got three thousand meters of runway. It's got a gross sweep there. I got a headwind there. The runway's slow, but I think it's about zero. It's very flat here at Helsinki. Flex to temp of 68. So I'll put that in there. Flaps 1 selected there. 137, 137, 140. Beautiful. Right. 137, 137, 140, 168 in the flexor temp. Speed go to manage now. And we are all done. Bar reference has been set. And we're all happy with all them. That's our personal settings. The cockpit preparation is complete. We'll do our before push back and engine startup. We got our fuel quantities checked. The load sheet and the zero fuel weight we put in. The ECAM, we've got memos that the doors are opened. That's about it. The seatbelts are all good. And we'll disconnect from the external power by turning on the AP bleed for the air conditioning. And then we can disconnect. Like so. So we're now independent. And then we'll get the pushback truck cooled over when we're ready. So ground services. Let's get some doors closed. Let's get rid of these cargo guys. And these cleaning people. Let's get rid of those ground power units. Passenger bus can go away. And the luggage loaders can go away at this point. And we're just left sat in here nicely at the gate. Lovely. Right. Doors and hatches. Let's get these doors all closed up. Let's get rid of all of these. Get ourselves nice and done. So, oh, the charts don't work. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. No problem. We'll play the welcome on board. We hop into the back. We can hear them. Oh, can't hear them. Anyway, welcome aboard. We have got a full cabin on board the Finnair aircraft. 
Um, so that's quite good fun. So you can see back there in economy, and we got all the business class and everything up the front. Lovely. So if you head back, you can see the lovely wings. I'm impressed by the texturing in X Plane 12. It looks really clean. And then we're looking to go into those clouds soon. So now we've done some of that. Let's get ourselves ready for departure. So better push back. Pre plan our push. Only really one way we're going to go. It's going to be a hard left hand push straight round like so into this little pocket here. We get a fairly long push. We want to make sure we do a nice sharp turn so we don't go into this stand. And then we'll roll back a little bit to sort ourselves out. All right, Captain, got the directions. Raining again. The cloud must have drifted over. Bit of a shame. Right. And then we got a little treat on board today. We got uh, we got a nice camera. So hello. Hello, everybody. This is the camera here. You can see we've got the stick moving nicely left and right. We'll be using that during the flight. So we will get that up as and when we do stuff. So... That'll be good fun. I'm just getting the fly life overlay up and running. It's uh, taking a while to sort itself out. There we go. There we go. Cool. Right. Let's get... Uh, if you're happy to push, Daniel, let us know in the chat. And uh, we'll, I guess we'll get ready to go. So, um, yeah, let's get, let's get our clearance to go, I guess. We'll call over the truck. So, let's go. Uh, Helsinki Tower, Finnair, 1331, ready for push and start. Push side proof face southwest, uh, Finna 1334. Great news, Captain. Right, toast, toast coming over. So, on here, nothing we really need to do. Uh, we are happy with everything. We'll just check the plane. We've got the fuel on board. The cabin seems all good. We'll whack up some of the lighting on here. Get it all nice. And we are all done. All the hatches are closed on outside the aircraft. We've got some guys standing around just making sure everything's all good. It's ground crew people. But as the tug's now driving up, we're pretty good. I'll wait for Daniel, of course. He's all oh, oh good. Stick cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick cam. And uh, he's all ready to go. Fantastic. Brilliant. Well, if he's ready to go, yeah, we'll get this toe up. We've been cleared to push. He can get his push at the same time. Uh, we're pretty much in the same little area. All right. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. Go ahead and hit that parking brake when you're ready. Oh, hit the parking brake. Ah, right, my bad. Do I need to set it on my end too? So there we go. Block our flight deck door. We'll turn up the brightness of the lights. That's a little bit bright. Is he connecting? And now he wants a parking brake. Is that working? No. Ooh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Hold on. Let's go. He's connecting. Okay, we'll go with that. Right. Okay. Right, there we go. I wonder what was going on there. Right, let's just check the wipers work here. So, so slow. Look at that water interaction. That's going to be good fun on takeoff. That is working really nicely. That's very impressive. Almost as good as Train Sim Classic. <laughs> so it's good. It's working well. Right. At start clearance, pushbacks have come up. So that's a good. He's connecting himself there. So engine start. Our hydraulic pumps for one and two need to go on. That's up here at the back. They go on all four of them. The beacon light needs to go on. We'll release our parking brake there. Right, we've been cleared to light him up. The guy's happy to light him up. Uh, oh, there's a plane on approach. We we'll watch him land at the wing view. Should be out there to our right somewhere. Might be a little bit high above the buildings. Well, we're rear rolling, and so is the A340. Look, there he goes. That's a lovely livery that the uh, the defaults put him in. Very nice. Oh, we got someone else spawned in. Right, whilst we're going back, who's we got landing? Ah, here we got someone landing. Finnair A320. Lovely. Who've we got over here? So we got Daniel in his uh, A340. That's looking very nice. And then we've got a Royal Brunei aircraft in the background lurking there. Very fun. 
Fenno, of course, used to operate the 340-500, uh, and then they uh, sort of replaced them, really, by the 350-900, so... Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. There's that sharp turn I was talking about. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're right. We've got a bit more snow look on the ground there. Getting a bit of texturing there. Not bad. So this is x 11 scenery that I just somehow, I don't know why, I decided I'd like to give it a go in x 12. So here we are. <laughs> and, it, um, and I thought, well, why not stream? It works so well. Right, let's get some engines started. So, ignition start. Selected. And engine number one. There we go, you can see N2's rising. We're waiting for the avail switch, which we'll get in a bit. So, after departure, it's a right-hand turn almost straight away, um, followed by the correction left um, to finish us. So, here we go, we've got good pressure, good start. Look, quantity's all good. N3's rising. And there we go, exhaust gas temperature springing into life as everything starts to run up there. That's that light there. Ah, not seen that one. Uh, the throttle then, and the 350 has a in percentage, which is quite good fun. So you've got percentage throttle there. So we've got 0 0.8 coming up to 1% throttle. And the N1 is indicated below that. So it's quite interesting. You can tell you how much thrust you're getting uh, out of 100%. Which is quite, you know, I think a more interesting way of doing it. Lots of people do the N1. Uh, so it's nice to see a different version. Tell you what, let me get up. See if we can get some... Uh, see if we can't get some cool uh, announcements going on. You know they do the, the uh, safety briefings and everything. Normally up in the flight deck we don't deal with that. But um, let's, let's see if we can get that playing. So announcements. Right, I'll bring it up. Little tool I've got here. Right. Thin air. There they are. You're just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Does that work? Is that going to work? Oh, there you go. Before departure, we would like to focus on safety. Please follow this video. <laughs> Superb. Right, this set the parking brake. Plug brake set. Engine one is available. Let's do engine number two. We'll uh, skip through to the next page of stuff as we're getting ready. After start checklist. Parking brakes. Engine start select will go to normal once we've done that. Engine one bleeds and packs can go on. And now uh, we can turn on the landing cameras, satcoms, all the mobile data and wireless and everything can go on. Safety belt is fastened by there you go, we've got engine number one up and running. There goes the uh, truck. Ah, lovely. Plane's all ready to go. Right. Inside, have your tablets, get up the FHK. Sick one pen on the right, take it easy and have a safe flight. Right, there we go. It's like charts up there. Right, he's off. So, start selector can now go normal. Oh, there we go. Bleeds will go on. APU bleeds can go on. And uh, en en APU gen can go off. Master arm off. We'll set the auto mode on the anti-ice. And pro window heats on. Arm the spoilers on the ground and we'll set our flaps as we start taxiing out. Passenger data needs to go off. I didn't know that. And let's get our taxi clearance then. Uh, Helsinki Tower, Finnair 1331, ready for taxi. If you are seated in business class, your life jacket is located in a compartment underneath your seat. In economy class, your life jacket is in a pouch under your seat. Alpha Kilo, Kilo, Zulu, and Zulu Golf holding short two-two left in a 1331. Parking brake release. Let's get our stick camera on here. There we go. Hello. Right, we're rolling. Oh, oh. I'll get a bit power on, get that set up. There we go, we're <laughs> moving. It's snowy, so I've got the uh, heaters on and everything. But there we go, we've got a flight control check. Full right, you can see it moving on the screen in the middle here. Full left, full up, full down. Oh, we're going a bit quick. Then you see out the wing view. Lovely. Now, in theory, because it's so cold up here in uh, Finland, we would be requiring um, 
anti-de-icing -de service. Um, we don't have that in flight sim, but uh, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll pretend we are. So that's all good. Oh, look at the rain effects! Isn't that lovely? Lufthansa, actually. Oh, you're flying in Lufthansa, are you? Or Oh, this is Lufthansa, is it? <laughs> oh, there we go. We had all our bad announcements going on in the background. Right. We are out of here. So, yeah, if you want to, the Pillow Pilot merch is available. Do, do you know, check out the pillows. <laughs> so, right. We've done our flight control checks. Let's set the flaps. Flaps one for departure. Want to reduce our power there. We're going a bit quick. These large aircraft don't want to taxi too quickly. They yeah. get a bit scared of going quickly. We've got the 340 coming out as well. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, we're parking in Terminal 3, apparently. I've been told by the gate manager down in Heathrow. So we'll be looking forward to arriving there. You see the flight controls getting good deflection there. Very cool. A bit of break. Hard right round the corner here. Look at that. Oh, it's a, there's a couple of planes in the, this world that I go whale for. This is certainly one of them. Beautiful, beautiful plane. Oh, the one over next to me. Oh, okay. Showing as a real Royal Brunei. <laughs> you know how these things are. That's quite cool. Right, ground supporters are all armed. We'll set the RTO for departure. And we need to do a takeoff config test. So we hit the button. Takeoff config seems all good. We can do our before takeoff checklist, the strobe lights will go on, and the TCAS is already in TARA, so we're pretty ready to go. Let's keep rolling up slowly to Zulu Golf in the distance. Put the wipers on to slow as well, we're getting a bit of rain. We're just under this big, this big cloud, if I go in free view. We're just under this big cloud here, look. There we go, oh, right under the wing of the, th the 350. Lovely. Flight Factors model is very good, and I would recommend it if you're, you know, if you're asking for a 350. Yeah, lovely plane. Oh, get on the line. Oh, we've got a 321 over there as well. I'm going to take my time going along here and see if we can get a cool screenshot of the 340 next to us. We'll get some good screenshots, that's for sure. Let's get one there, that's pretty cool. Right, this is Zulu Golf, so hard left here. Hanging it onto the, this holding point. Cross 22 left via Zulu Golf and continue up to Whiskey uh, Golf, uh, runway 22 right, Finna 1331. I think that's what he said. We're going across. Oh, someone's lining up. Oh, oh. Look at that in the sunset. Or, oh. yeah, sunset, isn't it? What's the time? It is tracking local time, so it's, I guess, up in these winter countries, Arctic countries, you know, the sunset's pretty early. Who's lining up over here? Ah, Finn Air, little guy. There he goes. And there we are, we're crossing the main runway, the, d the landing runway. It is active, so we've just gone across there. Here comes the 340 up along. Very nice, big heavy aircraft, pretty cool. And the rain effects, looking amazing. The snow on the ground, this is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. This is uh, this is why we, we, we fly X-Plane 12 now as well. Now I don't know if we'll be sent to that, but he said to contact 1213 after departure, the other guy. So we'll uh, we'll put that in our standby so that we can switch into the active when we need to. Go to Whiskey Golf. So that is here. It's going to be on on this Golf, stopping sort of there. So that guy made a detour into the de-icing facility. Should we should we should we go into the de-icing facility? What do you reckon, guys? Let us know quickly. Should we go into the de-icing facility or not? What do you reckon? 
We don't, we'd only stop really and not do much, but it'd be quite funny anyway. Lovely. Look at that. Very nice looking plane. Very modern. Very, very modern. Alright, flight controls are all good again. We can see the deflection there on the screen. Nicely there. That's right, working very well. Alright, we, we, won't, we won't get de icing. We'll just make our way onto departure. I just want to get going. Oh, the rain stopped. Oh, yep. there we go. <laughs> Set it to off. So we've got 142 passengers on board today. Quite quiet on board the flight, but we've got a fair bit of cargo on. Hence, they put an A350 on this flight. So Zulu Golf, that is... that's whis Oh, Whiskey Golf. Oh, that is this one, then. Is that this holding point? Let's have a look on Abbey Tap. Let's have a look, see. Uh, oh, a little bit further. Is it there? Where's the sign? We need a sign to turn it up to. I think it's the far side of this little taxiway. I think it's this dotted line across here. Yeah, yeah, it's there. So we'll, we'll come to a hold here. Now we'll idle throttle. Let it go. Superb, right. There we go, bring it to a still stop here. Yep. Try and be smooth, you know, for all the, the passengers. <laughs> Right, we're holding this whiskey golf. I've got the lights on, they're not very bright, but they are on. You can see them there. They are just about on. We'll just set the parking brakes so we don't roll away. This is whiskey golf, I think. Yep. There we go. Line up runway 2 2 right, Finnair 1 3 3 1. Superb, so back inside. Parking brake released. Doesn't really need much throttle, this little aircraft. Here comes the 340, let's get a cool screenshot of him. There he goes. Oh, lovely. Look at that. The snow texture is working very well in X Plane 12. As it does it automatically, that's just slowly built up as we've been here. So that's quite impressive. There you go. There's the 340 with us. Very, very pretty. This is very, very impressive. Mito, hi. Nice to see you. I'll right, we'll go left onto the runway. Because there's snow across here, we want to take it nice and slow. Be careful not to overspeed. Let's get a quick free camera screenshot as we line up of the two. That's nice. Lovely. Right, inside then. So, going onto the runway. The strobe lights go on. Nose light needs to go on. The landing lights go on as well. We've got it in auto mode, but we'll turn on the wing and engine anti-ice just to ensure it's all going well. Got minus one outside there. Contact uh, one two one decimal three when airborne, and uh, we're clear for takeoff runway two two right. Finnair one three three one. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. You got lots of grip. <laughs> there he is in the background. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Really struggling to taxi. Oh wow. Right here we go. That's man flex set. Flex temp of uh, sixty eight today. We're rolling. Man flex. Bit of stick pressure forward there. Just to hold it nicely steady. There goes the rain. Zipping along. You're right, we're struggling to accelerate here. 3120. So we can reduce our pressure stick forward. V1. Rotate. Lots of pitch up there. Lots of pitch up. Following it back. Just gently releasing it. Positive rate. Gear up. Yeah, we'll hold it there. Oh bit more positive rate, it wants us to climb a little bit more. And hold it there. Quick outside view. Climbing away from Helsinki there. Very steep climb, it's uh, keen to climb this plane. There we go. Lovely, and we're out. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> and we're away, so. Uh, 
turn off lights and taxi lights can go off. There we go, we'll set the lever climb on the power, reducing our nose pitch slightly. And we'll follow this big right hand turn we've got coming up. And we'll head over to 1213. Let's check who he is. How's the control? Ah, oh, lovely. Right, there goes that right hand turn. Helsinki Control for now, one tree, tree one with you climbing out of Helsinki. Oh, sorry, I interrupted. Pulse Q 3500 climbing for flight level 430 for now, one tree, tree one. Oh, one foot, there we go. And we'll set the autopilot on there. And if you look, I've uh, been on this flight in real life, and uh, when I was. Uh, in sat next to this wing view just where I am now I could see the the runway so there we go we can actually see it there's the 340 is he lining up there he is yep he's lining up he'll be off and we'll see him when we get back to London's Heathrow Airport let's get the stick camera off now as so we're not really doing anything there very good fun right there we go we're just hovering you can see lots of wind up here goodness me 37 knots headwind it's really fluctuating we'll bring the slats up on the front of the wing, wow, it's a lot of turbulence. Wow, the wing uh, <laughs> really bouncing around. Oh, goodness me. That's uh, that's quite something. Wow. A lot of fluctuation in the wing there. Now, there we go. We've punched out of it. Now, that that is a nice screenshot. Goodness me, guys. Look at this. It's the first time, because we flew Concorde, but we're sort of above the clouds, really, aren't we? Really enjoying the lovely weather in it, X-Plane 12. That is fantastic. Look at the cloud. That's amazing. Lovely Finner A350 climbing up through the clouds there. Looks good from wing view as well. Look at that. Nice. A lot of bouncing going on. It's obviously a bit, uh, bit, uh, bit bouncy. Oh, hey, lovely. That's really fun. Very impressive. Right, standard pressure set. And uh, oop, did I set that one? Like that. Uh, and then if we head over to the air tool, I think we have a uh, an after takeoff. Oh no. Unfortunately not. Next one is the duty free up for us once we've uh, done all our stuff. <laughs> right, it's a straight line. I'm happy to let the passengers roam around. They can do whatever they want now. There's no uh, no pr predicted turbulence really. It seems all good. The weather is uh, not giving us anything, so that's fine. Make sure we hop down here, get our weather radar all set up. I uh, can never quite remember those. Ah, there it is. Seems all good. It's all in automatic mode, so it should, uh, it should warn us if there's anything coming up ahead. We'll go through our after takeoff checklists to make sure we're all good. And the anti ice is as required. It's still pretty cold. I'm going to leave that all on. You can see we've got the window heat on there, but we have got some ice. Look, ice bits. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, can't see that there. We can see that forming on the screen there. There are some ice particles sort of coming over. So we have got the, the window heat on um, to help us there. He's got his tray table out. I don't, you know, we can. <laughs> <laughs> we can't move ours, but he can move his. Oh, that's a lot of ice look forming up on the windscreen. Not good, not good. We have got the window heat on. So it should stop it. Let's just do a quick recycle. To make sure it knows, uh, knows to get rid of the ice. Oh, that is a lot of ice. Way. Passengers have got no problem, look. They're, they're you know, just enjoying the ride, aren't they? We've we got to deal with all the, the, uh, the bad weather. <laughs> Lovely. Climbing through some bad clouds, though. Oof. That's a lot of ice, because the problem is, if we're getting ice on the windshield, it means we might have ice forming along the, the leading edge of a very bouncy wing. Wow. But, uh, a lot of turbulence there, goodness me. I'm going to switch on the seatbelt signs just so we pass through this turbulence. Let's keep the seatbelt signs on. There's a lot of fluctuation there, looking at the speed. And the uh, the pitch of the aircraft is really, really bouncing around there on the wing. It's obviously uh, a bit bumpy where we are. Heading through a bit of a patch of, uh, of some th of some serious turbulence. Goodness me, and the ice is uh, ice is almost blocking up our view now. Wow, that's a uh, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a warning sign. I'd say you're everyone, fantastic. That's um that's more severe than I would say it would normally normally be. We have got the icing on, 
We can go down here and check. We've got our conditioning on. Avonix venting is all good. Look, good temperature there, 27. It's 14 in the cargo bays. That's a little bit cold, I think. Let's, let's go on. Let's make it nice for the, the people who have brought their animals on board. Let's dial that up a little bit. Okay, well, the pack ones are all running, but uh, we're getting a lot of icing up here. Let's have a look. Fuel door engine. Let's just check our status page. It seems all normal. It's telling us it's fine. But is it? I don't know. <laughs> ah, lovely though. So we can't see the clouds, unfortunately. I was looking forward to seeing some of the clouds in next plane. But, uh, we've got ice on, on, on the flight deck, so we can't. But um, that's alright. There we go. Climbing up lovely there. There's a bit of a weird ghost image you can see forming around the plane. I don't know if that's just my setting. But, uh, wow. Oh, goodness me. Wow. That's, that is lovely. Look at that. Wow. Amazing scenery there. Coming up through the cloud, that's lovely. Very nice. So, let's hop into the flight deck. That ice is um, getting worse. Right, it should melt away soon. Okay, so, what have we got here? Let's go uh, EFOB and the wind. We're looking to land into e London Heathrow at 602 Zulu. Uh, or 402 Zulu, sorry. So that's just under... Or well, just over two hours, uh, which is not bad. It's quite quick. If we have a look in down to the uh, the standard FMS down here at the back. Oh, next plane's going very slow here. I wonder what that's up to. Right, look down here at the back here. If we go to the progress page, optimum is flight level 400 at the moment, um, and the recommended maximum flight level is 430. So we're going to be quite high at 430. We're right on the limit of this plane's uh, capabilities. It's uh, it's iced up. Wow. There we go. We can release the parking brake. Oh, the out, uh, the uh, seatbelt signs. As we climb through two five zero. At a uh, speed. Still got speed warnings on. We can. There's no. There's no uh, constraints. I wonder why we're still holding such slow speed. And there we go. S start to produce vapor trails there. Lovely. We're climbing up through. We've got. <laughs> We've got quite a, look, a film, a, a noticeable film of ice across the screens, hence it's a little bit blurry. That's, uh, that's not what you want to see, really, but that's all right. We'll go, we'll, we'll, I'm sure it'll uh, go away at some point. This cabin crew member pinging me. S s stop. <laughs> right, so. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Hmm. I want to have a look if I can cancel the... Uh, constraints because I imagine we've got uh, the thin air coming up behind us that uh, be slowed down by us. No, it doesn't seem to have any. We're about to switch to Mac 0.8 as we pass through Pes Pissox, Pissom, Pissom, Pixox. Once we shoot through that, we'll, um, we'll be able to have free speed, really, and do what we want. But until then, we seem to be stuck. Uh, cruising along at a slow 250 knots. I'm not really sure what the plane's doing. Maybe it's optim optimum climb? Not not too sure, to be honest. You can see here on the 350, we've got this um, vertical profile page showing across the top. So you can see how our climb rate is slowly reducing as we get higher and higher. And once we get up to the real top, it's a really slow climb between 400 and 430. But uh, at that point, we're so high up, it uh, doesn't really matter. I want to get rid of this uh, this constraint. How do I do this? So, uh, there. Clear that. Like that. I think that gets rid of it. No. It's still doing 256. What is it, what is it doing? Hmm. How do I... Okay. Well, we'll see what it... We'll see if it, if it wants to do that. We'll let it do its thing. We'll go to our climb check page. The anti-ice, right, so the anti-ice, take out auto mode. Let's switch that on ourselves. Do a quick recycle of all of them. Go rid of auto mode, because it's clearly not worked. So we've got a big film of ice. Look, you see on the outside view. Look at that. Look at that. That's ice, that is, right across the screen of the plane. Which is very unhelpful. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Well, that's 280290. We're on open climb mode here, so the plane's just climbing as it would be. If we set it to managed climb at this point, it's going to do what it in tandem with the speed. Um, but open climb mode is just its best climb rate, so we'll put it back into managed now at this point, as it had it pre programmed, we'd be climbing up. Fairly gentle 5 degree pitch. And if we head open to Simaware, we can have a look at what we're up to. But there we go, this is about it. Passengers are relaxing now, you know, they've got to. Not us. They've got all their stuff open up or whatever, you know, they've got their like. What do they have? Uh, their films, you know. <laughs> They're watching the films. And we're uh, enjoying a nice climb. Doesn't seem to be any events going on today. Oh, actually, that's not true. There's quite a few. Couldn't make Copenhagen's busy. It always is, really, I suppose. Copenhagen, Heathrow, and, uh, and Gatwick are always. And uh, out where and Germany, of course. Frankfurt is always busy. Very nice. We're climbing away beautiful. 310 there, so we're going right up through a typical cruise altitude of, you know, 30,000 feet or so, and going up to uh, 400. Gives us the advantage of being able to go a little bit quicker and, uh, and burn a little bit less fuel. As that optimum flight level increases, we're going to try and match it, so we might have to do some step climbs. Um, but what, because it's uh, optimum 403 at the moment, and we're trying to cruise to 430, uh, we might, I might look to reduce that, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Turn off the no smoking signs, it's telling me to do that there. I don't know if Finnair have a policy smoking. I don't know. <laughs> Seatbelts are required, nav aids, and the op optimum maximum flight level is what we're just checking on now. It might stop our climb to flight level one four one zero maybe. Hold there for a bit. Let the fuel burn off, we're a little bit lighter, climb a little bit higher. That seems to be my plan. We're still only doing two fifty four knots. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, I'll be honest with you, I hadn't ever done a flight in X-Plane 12 in this aircraft, so this this is the thing. I d if it goes wrong, I, d I don't know why it's gone wrong. I don't know why we're getting ice on the windshield. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, but it's, it's good. Very nice. It's going to be Unicom on to next, so we'll just prep that up. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to do a quick sound check, guys. Actually, I've got my phone with me. No, I'm not. <laughs> right, about to part through Piss Ox, where we'll then be allowed to go up to our own. We've got 10,000 feet still to climb. Our climb rate is about 1,000 feet per minute, so it's going to be a good 10 minutes or so before we'll get up. I'll just check the conditioning page, and which will tell us the pressurisation and everything again, just to make sure the plane's all pressurising well. Don't do that. No. Erase. There we go. <laughs> right, what's going on here? So, all seems good. We've got hot air coming through. The cargo's coming up to 20 degrees in the front bit there. Just make sure it's staying warm in the back, too. Now, the cabin seems all good. 27. It's quite warm. Turn it down just a tad. There we go, lovely. But the cabin crew can do it all from back in their their box. They can sort it all out back there. So we're now looking, you can see it's switched to Mach 0.8. So it's now looking to do 0.8 in the speed at flight level 400, um, passing through Recto, which is our next waypoint coming up. So we're in managed climb and managed altitude. So by the time we hit Recto, in just under 30 miles. The plan is for the aircraft to be at 40,000 feet doing Mach 0.8. But you can see <laughs> it's not it, it's not particularly uh, a depth system, it's just reduced now. So if it doesn't think it can do it, it just uh, reduces it. I did see a route, yeah. 
Oh, that's, that's Daniel behind us. Yes, I did see your edit, route edit. That should be quite interesting. It's going to be good fun. Will that be, if you're unaware, we've, um, we're doing a, a flight from, um, we're going to be flying uh, along the, uh, the same route we're doing today, but in reverse. We're going to be flying from Heathrow back to, uh, back to, um, to Helsinki, rather, and uh, we were trying to do that in Concord. Because uh, it used to come up to Finland quite a couple of times. It went up to Ravemni and things. And my plan is for us to return to Helsinki, do a quick refueling stop if we need to, uh, and then make a short, low subsonic route, or maybe supersonic will go out across the coast or something. We'll have a little look um, and shoot our way up to Ravemni and be landing right in the middle of nowhere in a winter wonderland. That's the plan. That is the plan for what we're up to. So we're, we're making our way up. Oh, it looks like he's come to 380. And there, there, unfortunately, is the advantage of 350. <laughs> we're just able to go a little bit higher. I think it means we can burn less fuel, um, which, of course, is favourable with pretty much all airlines now. That makes no difference. Uh, to fuel burn is um, is, is what the, the desired number is. So. Yeah. Quite good fun. If you're new around here, please hit the like and subscribe. It's uh, really appreciated by uh, by all of us. So thanks very much. Uh, please do hit the like and subscribe. Thank you. That's a bit new. It is. I know. I know. I I I was thinking about it. Um, I thought I'd announce that we're going to be doing that route on on stream. Why not? Um, but yes, that that might be the plan. We're about to shoot onto Unicom. But I, I put some music on the background, but uh, we'll see when we get to Unicom, it might, uh, might work. It's a little bit loud here on the frequency. Mr. Finn Rahm, hello, nice to see you. Lovely. There we go, we've got a top of climb there. We can see when it reckons we'll get to flight level 430. Not long, we will be there. And we're accelerating slowly here. You can see the overspeed limit on the left is coming down, and it'll continue to drop as our day goes by. You can see it's coming down rapidly there, quite quickly. Um, as we go higher, the overspeed comes down and the stool comes up. So you <laughs> eventually, when we get to 430, we might actually start to see the stool creeping in underneath us. Um, so it's interesting going this high in, a, in an aircraft that's not going very quick, like Concorde. So. Should be good fun. I don't understand what's the deal with our, our windshield. We're, we're very, very much iced up. <laughs> I don't really know. Don't really know why. Don't really know how to get rid of it. Because if I turn the pro window heat off and on again, will it work? No. I'm being told wing and oh, I, ice not detected. Okay. If I turn that off, are you happy? See, it's telling me ice not detected, but there is, there is ice there. There's something there at least, fuzzing up the window. So it hasn't quite hit Mach 8, 0 0.8, sorry, um, on the way up to Recto, uh, but it's getting there. Do route some planning for that. Yeah, please do. It'd be good fun. We'll try and do some fun little uh, little route planning around there. it would be good fun to try and work out a little route. I just thought it might be good fun. We've got a bit of time on that day. Do uh, have ha use um, our Helsinki as sort of a fuel stopover point for the rest of the route. <laughs> <laughs> Might be quite good fun. Right. 395. Making our way up. We're going to pass through 400 soon. Very slow climb at this altitude. The aircraft still is n optimum at flight level 400. Uh, and, uh, so we might level off at flight level 410. I'll see. But, uh, still seems at the moment well, we'll climb up to 430 and then as we burn off some fuel we'll be able to accelerate a little bit. Uh, it still seems optimal to go that high. You see the aircraft bringing the speed back here. Oh, look, it's changed. There we go. So sorry, I zoned out. There. I thought he was talking to us on the radio. Right, we're passing through 400. Then you can see the speed is coming back. We're doing about 230, uh, but the max 
attack speed is about 0.776 or so. It's just hovering quite low. The aircraft's not. So that's quite interesting to see. It's obviously what we put in the cost index for 15, which is a really low cost index. It's looking to really not burn much fuel at all. When we land, we'll land with 6 tonnes. We only fueled up with 18 tonnes. So to only burn 12 tonnes of fuel on a flight like this in a, in a large aircraft is very impressive. So um, it's, it's really not burning much fuel. Unfortunately, that is at the expense um, of, uh, of our speed. That's right. I think we'll see... Um, We'll see Dan come up alongside us. Right. Let's zoom out a little bit. We're getting there. 500 feet per minute. Oh, what was the warning? Cabrin will punch. Oh, this is the problem. When you get up, go to uh, the bleeds. Engines, you can see. We've got a good engine coming up. Feeding. But then in the... Uh, is it the pressure or the condition? Is there a pressure or no? It must be the condition. Well, actually, is it in, in normal? There we go. The cabin altitude is in auto, and it's at 7,500 feet. And it's going to keep going up. It's not happy. Um, essentially, this is just from the, the slight bug with the plane. When it goes above 400, the plane gets a little bit unhappy and doesn't like doesn't like what we do. So we're re it's reducing our climb anyway, so that should be all right. See all this uh, stuff here, so we're looking at what we've used so far, our fuel flow, and our f so fuel flow is what we're going to use per hour, and our fuel used is what we've used, of course, ticking up there. Engine 2 used slightly less than engine 1, not been running as long, we started engine 1 first, um, so that's the reason for that slight discrepancy. But you can see, yeah, we've got a nice long flight all the way down the coast here. Um, in fact, let me open up our route so we can have a little look at what we're up to. Our routing today is quite good fun. Uh, it takes us nicely over Copenhagen and everything. So here's our flight plan here. We're coming down, you can see we pass through Rekdo, we're going ro me Down nicely across uh, Sweden there, across the bay. Uh, down, we're going to shoot just north of Copenhagen, which I think is that, oh, Asma. Asma is just north of Copenhagen. Uh, we're then transitioning, as you can see, right over Amsterdam, uh, because that sets us up nicely for the Logan 2 hotel arrival into London brings us straight in across so we'll be going right in over Heathrow or over London sorry uh, into Heathrow uh, which should be which is a nice arrival um, we get to see a bit of sights of the city and in X-Plane 12 it looks quite good so that should be nice to see that right the plane only recommends us go to 14410 we might level off see if we can level off here if it'll let us level off Finair uh, 1331, uh, request a uh, stop climb, flight level 1410. Uh, uh, sorry, say again for, uh, for Finair 1331. No worries, thanks very much, Finneth1331. We'll continue climb flight level 430, please. Four three zero. thank you, Finneth1331. Right, so, I forgot about that. I, I should have remembered my ATC stuff, but um, essentially you can't climb um, to certain altitudes when you get above 500, 400 because there has to be excessive spacing between aircraft. Um, because of for this very reason, the planes are quite unstable at this altitude. So in our case, we're only able. Is that us? Want to see the gun? Want to just wait for now? One three three one. Right, we're off. Unicom. There we go. Just hovering at flight level four one five. You see the max speed there is about 0.763 and increasing slightly there because we've leveled off. We've got a lot high, very high power on the engines, um, but it is starting to, to, to reduce slightly. And the pitch is uh, should come down a little bit. It's just under 5 degrees, which is quite high. 
Um, but as we start to accelerate a little bit, it should uh, should slightly reduce in the cruise though. The 350 is perfectly capable of climbing up to this kind of altitude, so that's uh, nice. Very spacious flight deck, as you can see. We feel quite low down, sat in our seating position here. Very good, right. Let's have a look. ATC wise, we haven't got anyone until we hit Copenhagen further during the flight. Over on 121375. So we'll just prime that up for when we need it. Much, much, much later, though. We're not going to be getting through him for a long time. Um, as I say, to, to cabin altitude mode needs to get to manual. Cabin altitude target as required. So we can we can do that. Although I don't trust myself really to put it into manual. Let's just see what's the target. We go to manual. Uh, which one? Cabin altitude mode, not the uh, vertical speed mode. My bad. Right, altitude mode. Ooh, right, manual. I don't like doing manual. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, I don't need it 200. I just like it slightly lower than that. Um, what's it going to there? 5,500? That's not bad. I'd like it roughly about 6,000. Or 6,000 there. 6,500, that's doable. Alright, it'll sort itself out now. So it looks like the automatic systems when you fly the flight factor above flight level 400 fail for some reason, unbeknown to me. That seems to be what's going on. So, um, right. You see the waste levels and the water levels are going down and the waste levels are increasing. That is unfortunately toilet water. Uh, and that is uh, the stuff used in the galley. So you see it's starting to switch around as uh, they start doing some cooking. If we play our, our beautiful duty free announcement, Myyntivalikoima, sekä välipalahinnasto on esitelty in-flight shopping-lehdessä. Mutta nyt koko tiimin puolesta toivotan teille oikein viihtyisää lentomatkaa. Teemme parhaamme, jotta matkanne olisi oikein viihtyisä. Vesta Pasa Seeraden, Jaebursär, Jarmo, Mänttäri, Viberjär, Servera, Rykkär, Ron, Ringfangnen, Kanipestella, Viin, Öl, Kongvesk, Rykkär, Mikaan, Okso, Tjöpä, Skumbiin. Oks tarkka alkohol rykkää. Vibe klaakadon den alternativ ni valt har tagit You've got I said my camera is not the others. Oh yeah. I, I don't know if it's like a new X Plane 12 thing. I can't quite work it out. Um, but for me, yeah, yeah. We're getting the icing and everything. You know, it's a bit interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jarmo Mentteri and I'm the purser on this flight. We will start serving your favorites. You may buy sparkling wine, beer and soft drinks. You will have a possibility to do duty-free shopping during this flight. Our sales articles and snacks are presented in an in-flight shopping catalog. Please uh, don't hesitate to ask the cabin crew if you need any assistance. We are doing our best to make your journey as a pleasant one. The whole team wish you a very pleasant flight with us. There you go. I've just been looking here. I'm trying to get uh, XPUIC working. And I've noticed uh, not getting the bar across the top telling you how far we've got to go and everything. Looks like I don't think it works. I can't find got it downloaded essentially for X Plane 12. So I've just got to find it, so bear with me. Let's have a look, see. It's somewhere in my files essentially. I've got to find, search through, and have a little look. It's in here somewhere. Move to 
download a new version. Oh, explain 12 version of XP UIC. Oh, it's been worked on. Right, okay, it looks like it's not out yet, so we have to have to hang on until we can get the rest of the progress bar going along. But uh, not bad. You can see where we look like we're almost stalling here, aren't we? We've got very high angle of attack, it's amazing. But uh, we are, in fact, not. We are, in fact, climbing. But you can see there, the orange bar on the bottom is the stall uh, threshold. And you can see it's just coming into, th into play a little bit. Um, so we're certainly getting there. Ah, oh, they fixed it finally. Ah, oh, lovely. You can now have these screens not just in the flight deck. That's nice. These didn't work for ages. Now they do. wonder why I can move that one and not that one. Oh, there we go. How do we shrink it? Trying to <laughs> move the screen around and try and sort it out. Way to like move it, no. It's amazing, isn't it? The ice levels. I'm very impressed. It's uh, I don't know if it's accurate or not, but it's uh, it's uh, certainly a lot of ice. Uh, oh, sorry, Casey. Good afternoon. Apologies, <laughs> I've been missing the chat here. Casey Psonic from uh, Helsinki to Ravemi is not going to save any time. That was what's all oh, right. No worries. Yeah, well, we'll ch chug along subsonic. Um, that's fine. You can do that. There we go. The max speed's increasing now. We're coming through 0 0.7, 0 0.78. Starting to be increase our max speed a little bit. The clouds seem to be getting higher and higher. Oh, there's a big cliff look dropping away there. We're coming to the end of this very high cloud bank. Wow. Lovely. Up to this side. Very nice. I'm amazed it's not going to save us any time. Do you know what I mean? I know that's kind of obvious, but uh, you'd still think it uh, might not be too bad. But, uh, well. Mac 0.5 will still save uh, time compared to other aircraft. Oh, yeah, no, certainly. You're right. It will do. Um, so, that's good. We're going to have a bit of a play around um, Helsinki and things in the, in the near future with this stream and other streams, just because um, we've, got, uh, we've got some fairly good scenery that seems to be working quite well for me at the moment on this on this one so we might as well we might as well stick to it you know if it, 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 it if it works why not very nice Take longer to go over the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I probably waffled, didn't I? I was zoning out. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sort out a little thumbnail thing in the background. And <laughs> I probably zoned out when you said, uh, why would it be longer? Apologies about that. Of course it'll be longer. No, I fully understand.
Hey. I'm setting up some branding stuff, don't worry. <laughs> what have I missed in chat? Du -du 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 flight level 420. Oh, yeah. So I'm chugging up to flight level um, 430. It's uh, it's etching its way through. Look, there you go. 429. <laughs> We're getting there. Let me see the Delta PSI there. I'm not sure what that represents. Because the cabin altitude look is good now. We're down at 6,500 feet. I think the delta pressure is the, the difference, I think, between between the outside of the skin and the inside. And I think it's not happy. That's quite a big difference. You mean, I think it's um, panicking slightly. Very high throttle percentage there, but it, everything seems to be good. Fuel-wise, we seem to be doing fine. You can see our total fuel used is ticking up there just through five tons, that's fine. And the total fuel left is still 13 tons. That's plenty. Oh, what's it doing now? Big variation in power there to decide it done something. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting, uh, interesting aircraft. You're up to 400, nice. When you get above 400, they put you into because um, you have to have a, a couple more bit of more separation. You can go flight level 400 and then 430 because that's to be an extra um, bit of separation. So people going the opposite direction to us um, will go at flight level 410, and then because we have to have 2,000 feet of separation when you're above 400, we're then through 430. Next altitude I can be at is 450. Or no, rather, hold on, I've got to work that one out. No, there you go at 450. Our next one will be much, much higher. So it's uh, that's why we're at 430. It's an odd little little gimmick of the whole system. I don't really. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't quite explain it. You can see the range as well on the three on the 350. We can go up to 650 nautical mile range. So that's six 650 right on the limit there. You can see a long way. But not really, because of that ice. I'm, so I'm working, working to try and find out why, why that somehow appeared. But um, we'll, we'll see. Right. Lovely. That's a nice wing view there of the clouds looking beautiful over to the left hand side there. Really, really nice. Which, the chime? Chime, did I miss a chime? 
There is music playing very quietly in the background. That ding. Oh, this this one with the, like, the little... That, that, that guy that makes that chime. I don't know what that is. I think it's some cabin crew announcement thing trying to be helpful. But actually, very annoying. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, if I'm honest. I don't know quite know what's going on with that. Oh. Simaware thinks I'm at flight level 450. I guess the discrepancy between borrow and normal has uh, grown considerably. I'm not quite that high. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think we could get there in this plane. It's only a, it's only, only a small one. Lovely. 430, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've hit the top of our beautiful cruising altitude. I don't know what that ping is. I honestly don't know what that is, Casey. I think it probably is something to do with that. Drives me nuts when I fly this bird. You're exactly right. I can't remember. Yeah, I think you just spam it, don't you? And then, like, it cancels it for ages, I think. Something along those lines. I can't quite remember. Not bad. 430, though, Mac. 0.79 there we are it's trying to take us up to Mach 0.82 I'm not sure how it intends to do this but it's got a lot of power on and it's 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 going for it so you know what we'll leave it to it the plane recommends our optimum flight level currently is flight level 410 um, we can only do 400 as our next step down um, so we might as well stick up a 430 here it's not too bad the plane's not burning that much fuel anyway we're still looking at landing with six tons uh, at 4.05 Zulu, which is just fine for me. Everything thinks you're at 4.50. It does, doesn't it? If I go QNH1013 though, look. We are indeed 4.30. Just want to check that. I think my I think my weather might be incorrect. I wonder why it thinks I'm at four five zero. That would make sense though. Is there any other way of checking outside the aircraft? Now he's also on standard pressure and we are sat just at four three zero. I wonder what does the simulator think I'm at? So this is flight sim, my flight sim thinks I'm at four three Five mean sea level. Um, so it thinks I'm doing right. Oh god, that's quite scary. Look at the little plane which represents us, uh, followed by the, the massive A340. Um, I wonder. You're right. Everything seems to be at four five zero. What does the overlay think? I haven't got any information. Overhead panel, it's the purser calling you about the lights. Push the lit button. Ah, nice, thank you. That one. Oh, purser. No. That one. Okay, nice, thank you. Push the lights button. Do you want a map? We've got bright lighting in the back of the cabin here. It's a lovely day to be flying though. Look at that. And the ice is sort of melting, just a tad, I think. Just a tad. Has it gone slightly? Oh yeah, look, you can see the pilots again. So it is melting. It must have just gone through some really heavy cloud that caused it to form. Look at that. Ha oh, ha, that is a beautiful looking plane. Overlay says NSA. You're right. N slash A. Good 
Fuel the overhead pushing. Thanks so much, Casey. Yeah, the overhead panel XPUIC normally connects to the um, the simulator, and that's how we get our data. But it um, it's not working for some reason. I can tell you why. Um, and so as a result, it's uh, not going to be. It's not. Uh, it's not going to show, unfortunately. But um, you know what? It gives us a good bit of information. It's a bit of a shame it doesn't tell us all the rest of it. The speed is slowly increasing. Look, seven two. We're getting there. It is slowly, slowly but surely going up, which is nice. It's nice to slowly increase the speed. Ice again not detected. I'm going to leave it on because you know what? We have got ice. I don't know why it's so reluctant to tell me, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, okay, that didn't want to work. Time marker in up. Have they added anything? Oh, they have. Oh, look. Oh, wow. That's quite cool. Got uh, ATC com. Oh, wow. I can notify someone. ATC com. Maybe that'll they'll get that working in the future. I wonder why everything shows us at four five zero. <laughs> I don't know. We're not. At, I don't think we are. We're not at four five zero, as you can tell. But um, thinks we are. <laughs> Ain't that nice? We're well above the clouds now. They sort of dropped away from us, whereas uh, not long ago they were very high. Lovely. Right. Wild guess. Try closing X flight, then reconnect. Yeah, it could be. It could be. I'll we'll do that in a second, actually. Just uh, uploading these. Mm, that one. Done. Right, there we go. Get that looking a bit nicer. Very nice. Delta PSI is still a little bit higher, but that's not too bad. And the speed look is increasing. We're just coming up to Mac 0.8. We are properly cruising at speedy. That is quick. Lovely. Ah, very nice.
Right, we'll do a quick disconnect and reconnect from x to see how that works. There you go, reconnected up. wonder if that'll change anything. Hopefully it will. Lovely. Look at that, four three zero. We are cruising beautifully. Right, I've disconnected and reconnected. Let's reboot uh, similar and see if it recognises us being slightly lower. Let's see what it gets. No, it still looks very high. <laughs> oh well. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. That's alright. Right, all I'm going to quickly pop out for. Well, I say quickly, it's, it might be a while, although we'll have to see. We're going to be hitting this guy's airspace soon, actually. I want to have a quick look when we're going to do that, let me bear with me. When do we enter his airspace? Asmir is when we enter the, uh, the what's its um, Copenhagen control. If we are entering his airspace, that is Asmir. Time fourteen forty two. Oh, Stim was stuttering there. You remember the the awful events we had a while ago in our previous stream? So, touch wood. <laughs> okay. Asmir, time fourteen forty two. Right, I'm going to quickly run out, guys, grab a snack and things. I'll see you all in a couple of minutes. Catch you in a minute. Bye.
Hello. I can hear the uh, the autopilot disconnect warning. That's not good. Oh damn! Plane do be descending. I wonder why. Uh oh. Right, we'll open up two, yeah. Thanks for the warning. Right, let's get to sort itself out again. I, I was about to say I'm back. <laughs> All's well, uh, but uh, it's gone slightly wrong in my absence. Hello, sorry about that. I was also playing the wrong images. <laughs> oh yeah, right there we go. There we go. You're back. Hello, all. The autopilot disconnected there, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, not quite sure what happened, but uh, when I returned, the autopilot was disconnected, and the plane was in a spiralling descent. Not really spiralling. We were going in the right direction, but uh, that's not good. So. Back up to 430, we have to do that whole little bit of climb again. I'm in full toga to try and recover some power, recover some altitude. Because we're going very slow now. I must have hit a button on my way over. Does that. No, I don't know why it disconnected. That's the worrying thing. <laughs> don't know why. Right, well, we'll sit with it for a bit and nurse it back up. And then we're also going to contact the controller now. If he's still on the line. Copenhagen. 121375. We'll be entering his airspace shortly. I wonder why the aircraft disconnected, so... Copenhagen Control, Finnair 1331, flight level 420, climbing flight level 430, just entering your airspace, sir. Finnair 1331. A nice quiet airspace it looks like we're on. They never leave the flight deck. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. But I, I was hungry, you know? And I, well, no, not really hungry. But um, <laughs> I was I was putting, you know, getting ready, making lunch. So it's suddenly busy. It was quiet when I joined. Now it's busy again. I, I blame myself, really. Against me. Yeah, you're right, though. Never leave the flight deck. <laughs> That's not good. Right, I'm just going to keep it in toga just for a little bit longer. we got plenty of fuel. Um... Just gonna keep it just a little bit, just to give that little bit of extra power. The engines are fine. It's so cold, cooling wise, it's pretty good. Just make a bit of altitude up and try and uh, recover to our original cruising altitude after that incident. I'm very lucky you have fly by wire. If this was in Concord, we'd be done for. Well, I think we're just over halfway there. Very nice. Snacking, exactly, you know. All the waste levels are increasing as well. That's not good. <laughs> I like that it simulates that. I like that the coders actually had to code some code that says increase weight le waste levels as flight goes by. Do you know what I mean? Like that's that's dedication. That is. That's impressive. Right, let's check out Heathrow. What we're we looking at. 09 left, yeah. Uh, 
So, our arrival today is planned to be runway 09 left on the Logan 2 hotel arrival, which will take us in via Lambourne. The Logan 2 hotel. No transition. Insert that. There we go. Just to give us a bit more of an uh, accurate estimate as to our touchdown time. There we go, we've recovered back up to our cruising altitude. I wonder why it disconnected. I'm kind of nervous now. I don't want to leave. But I, I, I've got to go have lunch. This is um, very worrying. <laughs> Who are we on to next? So we've got... Oh, there's a lot of controllers online. Goodness me. So, we've got Copenhagen, then we're going to pass into, so who's this guy, Bremen Harvin, Bremen Radar 123.925, let's find him. There we go, we're levelled up, setting climb power, plane will do its own thing now. There's not a noise any pilot wants to hear, or even simulator pilot returning. You're in Toga. Yeah, I was in Toga down just to recover. Um, I had a slight incident where I, I, I think I must have nudged the stick in getting out, and I disabled the autopilot. So, um, that's not good. We reckon we'll have six tons when we land. We don't have any less than one ton of fuel remaining, and we have an extra fuel of 3.4 tons, giving us 40 minutes of flight time um, when we get there. So we have to do some holding or whatever. Okay. There we go. It's back up. We'll pretend that minor incident didn't happen. Oh yeah, it's like that's drastic, dramatically. I think it did, didn't it? Something must have happened. It suddenly made some problems. On the positive side, the windscreen's now de-iced. I'm going to leave the window heat on though, but um, you know, you've got a good view outside now. Look at that. Look at those clouds, guys. If you're watching on a TV at home or whatever, get it in HD. This is fantastic. That is some incredible quality viewing right there. <laughs> I'm going to leave it in that nose view because that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh, HC's calling me. Oops. Sorry for now. One tree, tree one. Did we miss something? Okay, no reason. <laughs> My bad. I was watching all our, you know, cinematic stuff. Look at that, though, guys. That is. I don't know why he'd be calling us. We're not doing anything. Hmm. Maybe we're heading into another airspace. We're just transitioning there, aren't we? We're blasting along there. So we'll be into Bremen next. And that's going to be passing through. We'll hit Bremen uh, at Demir. Go for thin air, one, two, three, one. Uh, flight level 430 for now, 1231. I'm reading uh, flight level 446, so just confirm that your pressure reference is correctly on your altimeter. Understood, we're in standard pressure for, uh, for 1331. Uh, 
A firm, X plane 12. That probably is the question. Okay, thank you. Understood, sorry for the discrepancy. Much no problem, I will coordinate. Thank you for fitting everyone to each one. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> it's entirely my entirely my sim for some reason, but it, we're just showing far too high. I wonder what's going down. That's not good. Let's have a look. Wonder what's going on there. Whether it's the same. You're also an experimental. Yeah, exactly. It's no, it's a known bug. Oh, okay. No worries. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah, I guess that's why I asked you an explain. It's not known. It's a bit odd that. Demir is our point for passing into the next controller's airspace. And then from there. From Demir, we then go to Kubat, which is in the border for his airspace. So let's just check what the time we're expected at Kubat. Let's have a look. See, Kubat, 1514. Okay. We're trying to. Find some time to eat during the air. Uh, oh, thank you. During our cruise. Now what I'd like to do is we go on here. I don't know if it's for all planes, but certainly in flight factors. Ah oh, right, okay, so the flight factors have got bug. Yeah. Well, wow. okay. Interesting bug, I mean it's not something I've ever occurred to me before. Because even X plane thinks we're at four forty three thousand five hundred. But that discrepancy could just be down to anything. Just open up some of this stuff. You're welcome to expedite the signal speed restriction. There you go, flight's been going for 2 hours and 18 minutes since we booted up the aircraft. Or since I loaded in? Maybe since I loaded in. Hmm. I'll be honest, I only loaded in about 30 seconds before I start the stream. <laughs> it was taking its time to sort out stuff. So, yeah. So, user's guide. Oh, what was that?
It's a shame they've got that bug, because I tell you what, I do love flying it. Like, it's an amazingly good looking plane, I think, the 350. And then uh, in X-Plane 11, of course, we've got the 350-1000 modded version of it, um, which is great fun. So, I do enjoy flying it, it's a shame it's uh, got that problem. Right, we're passing through Demir any second now, we'll be shooting into the next guy's airspace. There, what's that? Excess differential pressure. Packs off descent. N no. This is fine, isn't it? God. <laughs> it's certainly unhappy with cruising this high. One two three nine two five for Finnair. Uh, one three three one. Thanks very much for that. Um, have a nice day, sir. Bye bye. I don't want to step on anyone. Uh, right, uh, 125, 720, 750 is our next one. Bremen Radar, uh, very good afternoon. Uh, Finnair 1331 with you cruising at flight level 430 or slightly higher. Finnair 1331, Bremen Radar, I don't know, didn't get the humour, didn't it? Okay. Maybe, maybe it wasn't very funny. Look at that. That is looking lovely today. Tell you what, I am. I am taken by X Plane 12. You know, I think it's a really, really good sim because I like it's got the visual elements that Microsoft Flight Sim has got, but then it's clever and it's got some really good, um, good detail uh, that we only see in some sims. So I'm very, I tell you, what, I'm very impressed. Right, I'm going to grab a quick 10 minutes out, guys, because I'm going to shoot out, grab some food, and then run back. So let's get some time out. It'll be really quick. Apologies about this. And Finnair 1331, request one five minutes outside of flight deck, please. Proceed direct to Abnet and uh, 1 5 approved. Thanks very much, uh, Finnair 1331. Right, Abnet from PBOS direct to. Direct to Abnet. Lovely. Good direct there across. Abnet is actually outside his airspace um, by quite a long way. So I'm impressed you can give a direct. I guess that's just coordination or whatever. Right, we've been cleared out, guys. I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to shoot out uh, and grab lunch. I hope you all have a good time. I'll see you all in a minute. Let me know if the EOS pilot disconnects you. Yeah? <laughs> I'll be keeping a bit of a half eye out, so uh, let me know. <laughs> see you in a minute. Bremen 1 Alpha, 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 Bremen
Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. I do return. 
Right. Uh, Finnair 1331, back in the flight deck. <clears throat> Sorry, what did I miss? Pillow's gonna crash plane, and I don't want humans to have faith in other humans. Well, it's four times. <laughs> I, I'll pretend I didn't read that. <laughs> I, I, I never make mistakes. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's always good. One two five seven five zero. Uh, Finnair one three three one. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Amsterdam radar, Finnair one three three one with you, flight level four three zero. Uh oh, I and you had <laughs> and you had a shortcut. I did, and doing three rejected takeoffs because he was too slow. Yeah, <laughs> that was unfortunate. I I didn't think it was the anti ice problem. I I do you know what I mean? I was like, no, come on, no. I was I was thinking, what? No way, that can't be the problem for the reason we're unable to take off. But you know, sh sure, sure enough, it 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 was. <laughs> that was the exact same problem that we were having, and that's why I was unable to take off. So, yep, you're right. I was being stubborn, and you're entirely correct. Goodness me, we got a lot of as you say. You you were right about the plane like rolling around. Got a lot of. A lot of wind going on here. What's going on? A hundred and twelve knot tailwind. I think that's why. That's um. Wow. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh, I've seen Daniel's photos up in the uh, end of Discord. I'm trying to scroll through now. They look nice. But I've also had a little look at uh, Mito Player. There are some nice photos of your little flight. Nice. So you noticed up in the north in Finland, uh, when we first took off, the sun was quite low. And now, actually, it's not so low. So it's quite impressive that um, the sun almost risen just because we've gone south, which is pretty amazing. Pretty cool. That's a lot of fun, that stream. Filling those are entertaining. Well. Ah, yes. <laughs> I, you know, it, it can't be. It, yeah, it's got to be. It's, stuff's got to go wrong, I suppose, hasn't it? You know. <laughs> yeah. If only it was. Uh, if only it was on purpose. You're right, though. I got a massive shortcut. He's had to go the long way around. Lovely. Right, I think I'll remain in here now. So, let's just, uh... so we've got a Heathrow Tower online, but uh, nobody else. It's facing anything. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh, we're getting ready for our descent, actually. 
So, scent preparation checklist. That is here. Weather needs to be obtained. So we go performance page, approach, and we'll lob in the weather. So the QNH, also temperature is 8. R-A-T. QNH1045. Very high pressure. It's a, it's a lovely day here in the UK, so I can tell you that is exactly true. 3606 is the wind. And the radio is going to be, uh, let's have a look, see. <coughs> Landing 09 left. 279. Good. Let me know if you all think I'm too loud or anything on the microphones. Just uh, let me know always if you think the sound needs to be changed or whatever. <laughs> uh, right, transition level 5 zero, that's correct. Just crosswind of 6 knots. Unfortunate. And then we need to set the rad nav and get the ILS actually inputted. So it is going to be 110 decimal 3. One two two one two two decimal eight for thin air one three three one. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye. Lovely. We're on to Unicom then. Switch it across. There's Unicom. So we did our center our own manage. So we've got weather obtained, landing elevation confirmed. Baro reference can be preset, so if we go here, go 1045, look, you can dial it up like this, and then go back to standard. Apparently that's how you do it, I think. Well, no, 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 you didn't even need to do that, do you just dial? No, I, I don't know. Anyway, we've preset it. <laughs> Approach data inserted, that's this bit done. Uh, position nav data we've done, we check the ILS stuff, secondary pages are all good, and the auto brake we've done. On short runways, use three or higher, it's a very long runway here at Heathrow. So we'll just set up our, our, our auto brake. We'll need to set to brake slow. There. Auto brake is now armed. Descent checklist then. Coming up. Keep zooming in the range here so that we can keep seeing it. As we're coming in, see that descent marker approaching. And we're getting ready to go down. One, two, four, three. It's, that's crazy. Sound is good. Thank you. It's crazy, isn't it? Very high pressure. There's not a, literally. I'm looking out my window now. Not a cloud in the sky. It is the most beautiful day. Kind of shame I'm inside, really, but we're streaming. We're flying in it next place. You know, what more can you want? <laughs> the sun is starting to get low, though, so we might be landing in a evening, evening haze. So um, it's going to be good fun. But we're 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 where are we now? We must be over the North Sea, ish. Where are we? Ah, we're still. Just heading over Amsterdam, are we? If we're onto Unicom, we must be outside of airspace. I hope we're not. So I, I put us still directly over his airspace. Yeah, we're right over Amsterdam. Maybe he just doesn't need us. Stansted radar's online, um, but we're not going into Stansted, so that's uh, not really a concern of ours. Um. So, yeah. Well, we're tracking nicely across, but we'll we'll go for our descent then. So twenty nautical miles, drag it in. We are very high, four three zero. So, ready for our descent. And there we go. We're just going across the sea. Amsterdam is under here somewhere. Ah, oh, just off our left wing. Down there. In fact, yeah, you can see the runways there. Nice. Lovely plane, though. Very, very fun. It's been a good, good stream actually in this plane. I'm enjoying that. No, see if uh oh no, I think there was tower online. My bad. Yeah, London, London tower online. But uh, no approach, and uh, no ATC. In London, uh, but uh, there is Heathrow. Now, unfortunately, simulators they don't have the taxi camera simulated. 
Um, nor do they have the zoom uh, for the sort of maps on the ATC, which is a bit of a shame. That's all right. We can we can live, I think. <laughs> Five nautical miles. We'll dial in our altitude, which today we're going to have as um. Well, what's, we'll set our initial one, I guess, on the uh, our approach. What is that? Or the saber will go one six zero. One six zero, managed. Here we go. Here comes the green dot. That's our descent rate. And we are going down. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now descending. So. We can put the cabin altitude back to automatic as we start to get a little bit lower. Um, and it'll go hopefully go happy with us again. Uh, right. That's all fine around here. Zoom back out again. Turn on the terrain radar, I think, for me. So I can see the coastline as it comes into view. There you go. You see the nice little blue arrow telling us we'll be level at Sabre, flight level 160. It's then got a speed limit of 220 at Lambourne. That's indeed correct. However, I assume we will not be getting the speed constraint coming in. Um, as a, we're, not, we're not normally going to be given that. Um, especially, I don't think it's too busy going into Heathrow. If it's really busy, of course we'll abide it. But, um, if it's not, it's just not much point. So, uh, let's try and keep our speed up. Let's have a look-see. Let's have a look-see at EGL traffic. It's pretty busy, actually. There's 33 arrivals coming in. There's a lot, actually. There's a KLM, two KLMs ahead of us that have just taken off from uh, Amsterdam. Oh, that's brilliant. We're descending as they're still climbing. That's uh, amazing. Lovely. Well, we're coming down. How fantastic. That's gone very well. Touch wood. Keeps going. Right. It's quite a steep descent, actually. 2,000 feet per minute. We're, uh, we're dropping, that's for sure. No fuel trimming. It's very nice. All automatic. Right, so 3380. I'm going to put the cabin altitude to automatic again. And it'll sort itself out. Actually, hold on. Okay, manual. It's trying to increase again. The delta pressure is the difference in pressure. Um, between, I don't know what it's between, but it's the difference in pressure. If it gets too high, that's what we were getting all those warnings for. The difference in pressure had gotten very high, and it wasn't happy. We'll let Unicom know what we're doing. Yeah, uh, Unicom, Heathrow traffic, uh, Finnair one three three one is descending from flight level four three zero through flight level three seven zero for flight level one six zero on the Logan two hotel arrival into London Heathrow. Uh, Heathrow traffic, Finnair one three three one. Beautiful, we're coming down. Who's that behind us at flight level 120 about 12,000 above us? It is, it is. Finnair 8 Hotel Yankee. It is indeed. Daniel. Hey, don't mind. Oh. What do we say? Don't remember transferring you to Unicom, but be aware of the other inbounds to EGLL. I can't separate you guys now. Oh. I thought it was a bit odd he transferred us so far away. Maybe he was calling a different aircraft. I definitely, definitely contacted us though. But he's, uh, he's not happy. Okay. He's cleared us off. You're not meant to be on Unicom. Yeah, well, I, he, he sent us to Unicom. He told Finn 1331. Because um, I, I was paying attention. And he, uh, he definitely... Because I, I, I radioed saying we were back. And he then said, ciao. 
Um, but he's a. Uh, yeah, no. He's uh, he's not happy. And he's telling me to be aware of the other traffic. Well, I, 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 he's right, but um, we're we're all right. We're in the clear. There's nobody really around us. A couple of these KLM guys going in. Then you're behind us. That's all right. We're pretty much in a gap. Long descent all the way down across the uh, the North Sea. What's that down there? Those wind turbines. Oh wow. So we're landing on runway 09 left today into Heathrow. Now that's quite um it's quite a nice runway. We get a bit of a displaced threshold, whereas with the two sevens there's no displaced threshold on the runway. So you can see 09 left is a good bit of threshold there we can miss or, or sort of, you know, we've got a good good uh, reference. Whereas coming into two seven right and left, there's no displaced threshold. Uh, so it can look a bit steep and you're coming right and low of grass. So it's nice to have a little bit of a displaced threshold. Uh with the low auto break. We're quite light. I expect we'll vacate uh, probably Alpha Alpha 8 with a little bit of slow, with a little bit of gentle braking will be Alpha 8. If we went really quite firm, we could probably get off at Alpha 9 Echo, but that's more than a, a 90 degree turn. That's quite steep, that. So we might not be able to make that. So I think I'll go for a nice Alpha 8. We'll shoot off and make our way through Lima 12, Bravo, and try and go to Terminal 3 is the plan. Um, that's where we, that's where Finnair have got their stands in T3. So. We'll try and head in through there. Zoom in slightly. We have got the uh, got the guy on T cast behind us. I wonder what are the guys around us doing? These KLM guys aren't showing up on my radar. I wonder what else you there. So we can see them. Oh, there's one. Oh, they blue KLM seven three seven there. And then the other one must be ahead of him. Hmm. Okay. Well, he's down there. Just to our left there. We'll just keep an eye out for him. As we come on down. I don't know if he's climbing or anything. But uh, well, he's, he's ahead of us. So we'll just remain in our stack behind him. Keep an eye on our speed and everything. And just uh, transition along behind him. He should pop up on TCAS soon. He's, uh, I can't see him currently. A very steady descent here. Very, very gentle. Oh, actually, no, that was 1,500 feet. That's quite good. That's quite a nice descent. And behind us, 1,000 feet above, is the Airbus A340. Can't quite see him. Shouldn't be that close. Where is he? Would have said a bit to the blue backdrop. It'd be easier than uh, trying to pick out that KLM down there. But there's the KLM. He's our priority, we've got to keep an eye on him. I assume they're on the Logan 2 Hotel as well. We've got quite a big cross, we've got 90 knots of crosswind for us. Um, so that's why we've got that big side slip um, going around. Seven tons of fuel remaining, 7.5, that's perfectly happy. Plane still reckons we'll be landing with six tons of fuel in a little over half an hour. That's good. It's a good, very clever descent, the 350. It's worked out very nicely because we're using very little power. Look, we're sat down here at about 6%, which is nice low amounts of power, so being very fuel efficient. The whole plane is really, really designed around being fuel efficient and burning as little fuel as possible uh, for the route. Checking my seat height here. We seem to be sat quite nicely. 
It's a really, really impressive plane. I quite enjoy flying it because it's uh, f f f quite well modelled by Flight Factor. Very clever. Water brake armed, that's good. Oh, ice not detected. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep it on though because I don't want to have a iced up for landing especially. For takeoff it's not too bad, we're not doing anything. But for landing, we do not want that. There's the KLM. Still not showing up on TCAS, he must just be out of range. We're making our way down nicely for 160 level at Sabre. You can see we're not actually coming in on the traditional Logan from Sonog. We're cutting in from the side here. We need to be 250 at Logan, give or take, and then down to 160 level at Sabre. It hasn't actually got that constraint at Logan, but uh, I guess it's gonna, I guess it's gonna be all right. But, uh, we'll shoot through roughly about that altitude, and there we go. We picked up the KLM on TCAS. So if we zoom in, we'll keep Jeff's display nice and high range, and have ours fairly zoomed in, so we can keep an eye on these traffic. to nav. I'll switch off the terrain and go for weather. You can go for terrain. There we go, so we've got the coast coming into view here. On the weather radar at least. <laughs> and we've got a uh, five mile separation between the two traffic, both behind and in front. That's pretty good going actually. We are closing up slightly towards the KLM, there he is. And there's his brother in front, or whatever. There's his mate. Oh, there, there. So one's in a 738, look, one's in a 737. Dash 800 and dash 700. Nice. Now, where is the 340? There he is, off our, off our wing there. Got him. Visual with the 340. Try to keep a good spacing out here. So he's level with us, so if I go to is it oh well oh, sorry about that guys. Go to the serve pages. Okay. Oh, there we go, norm, yeah. There we go, we're increasing our descent rate slightly there. To hit that uh, constraint we want to hit. We're dropping back from the KLM. And the 340 staying in the same position relative, so that's very good. A lot of wing bouncing there. <laughs> Something I have noticed. I don't know if that's, uh, that's not that's not really a good thing. It's quite funny though. Tell you what, it's very well simulated. And if I ever fly this plane, um, if I remember thinking of flying this plane, I'll be flying it in X Plane 12. So I mean, there are certain aircraft that. I'm getting used to flying in different sims, and so for Concorde, uh, for me personally at the moment, I think I'd stick to V2. V3 is just a little bit unstable, and I get a little bit of problems and things, whereas V3, whereas V2 is perfect. This plane, they are definitely be taking into X Plane 12 whenever I fly off stream, because it is working brilliantly. Yes, the altitude discrepancy thing is a little bit annoying, but it's still working well. Oh, there's a plane there. What's, what's he up to? We like plane spotting from a plane. <laughs> it's brilliant. Who's this? What's he doing? What's the livery? Looks like a United plane, but it can't be. Assuming Ryanair. No, oh, can't quite see it. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There he is. There. What is that? What is that? Can't tell. Oh, there's another guy coming straight for us. Yes, it will be V3 and X Plane 12 on Saturday. Yes, yeah, it is. On stream, it's quite good fun to check out the new planes. But if personally, I would I'd think I'll stick to V2 for a bit. There we go. Oh, we're just coming in to the, the grips of the, uh, the 340 behind us. Keep our speed up. We are going very slow. It, uh, it slows down a long way away, this plane. It certainly uh, likes to stick to the constraints, you know. <laughs> Goodness me, slow enough early. Who's that up there? A British Airways A320. Let me guess, he's going into London Heathrow. 
I wouldn't be surprised to see a British Airways 320. I'd assume it's going into the Heathrow. Yeah, we're getting a little bit close to the plane behind. I wonder if we can keep the speed up just a tad. Might just dial it up to about 260 or so. Let's try and keep it moving along. There's no need to be slowing up so much right now. Just keep keep things ticking along. Right, controller wise. Ah, we've got Heathrow North Approach 119725. Don't quite need to contact him yet, but we will be soon. We are now on to Logan, making our way through. We've still got 65 knots of crosswind, so we've still got a lot of crosswind. And the planes are really riding the wind. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of bouncing. Well, 975, there you go. There's the controllers contact me. Heathrow Director, Finnair 1 Tree Tree 1 with you descending through flight level 200, flight level 160. 1 Tree Tree 1, thanks. Speed now 270 knots. 270 knots, 1 Tree Tree 1. Uh, 1 Tree 1, descend flight level 160 to be level by Sabre. 160 level by Sabre, Finnair 1 Tree Tree 1. Okay. We've been told uh, to be level by Sabre, uh, 160. Right Fortunately, the automated systems will make sure we do that, so that's pretty groovy. So we don't need to worry about that. So I'm looking on the first officer's side because I'm keeping an eye on the traffic here behind and in front. Um, but then on here, look, Sabre, we're going to be level 160. That's pretty groovy. So the pockets of clouds looking lovely. And then we've got the sunset here in the UK, which we are flying into. So it's lovely, lovely time of day to be flying. Lost the traffic behind us on TCAS. Switch on to the normal. Tell you what, we'll put Jeff over here and have him looking at the TCAS stuff. We'll keep looking at the nicer. We've got two planes very close up ahead. I oh know they're above each other, above and below. There's the one guy high. There's the guy low. That's quite cool. After this guy, we're going to be onto the tower on one one eight five. Lovely. Tell you what I would like to see implemented. I'd love to see the HUD be able to be used. That'd be great fun. I get it's tricky, but if the default, um, if the Zevo 737 can do it, uh, I'm sure Flight Factors Payware A350 can do it. <laughs> so I think it can probably be done. 490 uniform correction, stop flight level 150. Here we are, we're hitting 160, we're levelling there. There we are landing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to have a poll here. Would we like to do an auto land? Auto land or pillow pilot? Two 
Or pillow pilot. I put the poll up in the chat. Give us an answer. Let me know what you'd like to do. Uh, we're above our descent profile here. He hasn't given us further. He's very busy. I think we'll tell him we're level 160 just to try and carry him along, maybe. Uh, Finnair 1331, level flight level 160. He's busy building to it then, I guess. Flight level 140, Finnair 1331. Tell the pilot, of course. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, you want to see me landing this one. This, uh, I can never quite get it right in the 350. That's why I was hoping you'd all go, oh, let's try and also land. <laughs> I can never quite get the touchdown. Good, and then what it is, it becomes a little bit difficult to handle this plane at low altitude, so. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh oh, I've got to do it though. It's going to be fun. John, hold 28270, don't back off. There we go. Do you say 120, speed 250 knots, Finnair 1331? See that's why he's uh, he's doing a lot of spacing. Look, look at the number of planes ahead of us. We got one and then two straight ahead. So it's slightly below us. Now also land is cheating. Good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we think that. I'm very much pro the landing manually, but uh, maybe not in this plane. <laughs> oh, this plane's wandering around. There must be a bit of a. Yeah, it's quite a lot of wind. Surface wind is zero three zero at five. No, it it's not that bad down in Heathrow. It's just bad up here. We've got quite a lot of wind. Apparently, the QNH has changed to one zero four four. Temperature is eight. Same. Yeah, wind zero three zero at five. Change slightly then. No auto land, certainly this plane. <laughs> yes, it does everything for you. Remember to watch your landing. Oh, of course, yeah, we'll be turning around. As soon as we get off the run, we'll be switching around to have a little watch. Especially in that lovely livery of the Finnair 340, I'm very, very happy to watch. So look at the cross we've got on board the plane to keep going straight. Yeah, look at that, look. We're going. We're going in sort of that direction. <laughs> yeah, I can't get it right too, so you want to see me struggle. <laughs> right. All right, we're starting to approach the airport now. Three one two zero. We'll switch on the seatbelt signs. And then ah. flight level one hundred for now. One three two one. Flight level one hundred. And uh, we've got the seatbelt signs and no smoking signs on now. And we'll try and encourage everyone back into their seats ahead of landing. So seatbelt signs are on. Right, we've got traffic. Uh, oh, way. What's going on there? We should be too far. Should be two five zero knots. We're uh, doing three hundred and thirty. That was a big change. Left at a two six five. Left at two six five for now. What did you want? 
Flight. Sorry, say again for uh, thin air one two one. Eight zero, if anyone wants to shoot Right, we'll, uh, we'll do it manual descent. We'll go for like 1,500 feet. We're on the heading now. Which is easier for him, I think. Dash 400 is your okay guess. Oh god. 400 feet per minute, that would be bad. That would be very, very bumpy. I, I think I think it would be nice. It just might be look a bit dodgy. I mean, lots of like crazy pitching and things. That could be quite interesting. Right, ILS systems on. We're through 10,000, so the landing lights are going on as well. Stereo lights and borrow ruffle set. Certain monitor is good. The rate of descent is as required and the speed rate will be as required. Holding pattern, none to go. That's like a TCAS thing. Eight nine Yankee Hotel with the sun to flight level one hundred. Descent level one hundred eight nine Yankee Hotel. Nine zero three turn right by five degrees. Turn right by five. And there we go. We're leveling off at eight zero there. Oh, it's cut. Someone wanted auto land. <laughs> Delta 1, descend flight level 150. Delta 1, descend flight level 150. That's cool, Delta Airlines 1 is coming from JFK. Delta 1, that's, cool. that's a nice cool sign. Might do that flight one day. <laughs> there is London Heathrow. Looming in the sun. You see it from the side view here. There it is, that big reflected part. That's Heathrow. So, charts wise. Oh. Okay. We're on like a downwind. Let's check our ILS frequency 10110 decimal tree. That's correct. IAA. It's got IRR. That'll do. 110 decimal 309. That's right, it should pick it up in a minute then. That's got it, it looks like, so we'll go with that. There's the 340 just above us. Lovely. We're level at 8 zero. Hopefully, we'll get further descent. Do a visual. <laughs> Right heading 275 for now 1321. Oh, who's that? It's another plane. We're doing it. It's a good plane spotting. As a British Airways 320. Oh, he's cut us up. Shocking. What's our indicated altitude? I wonder if he's not giving us descent because he thinks we're not. Two, two, zero degrees, climb alpha level one five zero. Heading two two zero degrees, climb flight level one five zero, speedbird four two mic. Three one alpha left at two two five. 
Speed 220 knots, descend 4000 with the QNH 1044. Uh, Finnair 1231. 061, cushion 691, turn left at 060 degrees to establish for 09 left. Open descent, let's go, go, go. That's the wait, that's the descent I was looking for. Now we're descending like that, I'm going to drop the spoilers level 1 out. There you go. Tell you what, he's doing very well. If I show you guys, I'm just going to turn off low, turn off music here. If I show you my TV, let's have a look at this. This is the queue of traffic. We're here. This is the big queue of traffic he's got. He's got eight Hotel Yankee behind us as well. He's got a massive queue of planes, and he's got someone down here also trying to come in. He's got a big queue of planes, so he's doing a very, very good job. And our spoilers are out now, so we're slowing down. I've stopped talking, I want to make sure I hear what he's saying. Left heading 240 degrees for now 1231. Okay, let's shoot round. Oh, I forget, I can't do it with the roller in X Plane 12, I don't know why. It won't let me uh, roll the, the dial, so uh, I have to <laughs> keep dragging it. I keep forgetting. So, my bad. Right, let's get this vertical speed, let's get going down. We've got plenty of, um, plenty of, desert, you know, um, spoiler we can bring out, so let's. Let's get cracking. What's the warning for? Not sure. Drag required. I'm assuming. Let's get that drag out. There, are the spoilers out. They ruin the lovely shape of the wing, but um, sometimes needed. Look how busy it is here. Incredible. So, for the ILS, we need to be 2,500 feet. So, we do want to keep our descent up. Reduce it slightly. I'll set the auto to manual. 180 knots, 1221. We're slowing down. Let's reduce our descent rate slightly to 1,400 feet per minute. In doing so, we'll allow ourselves to really knock off the speed. I would hate to get given a go around uh, because we've got too close. There he is, that's that guy ahead of us. He's going to extend our downwind a little bit. So the QNH on his side. Right. Leveling 4000. Bringing in the spoilers. Left heading 125 for now 1221. 125, here we go, all the way around. That's a big turn, big left hand turn. And we're at 180 knots, we're going to go flat 2. There goes flat 2 deploying. There we go, flat 2 coming out. Throttle's going to really increase to compensate here. 
plenty of fuel left. We're still 20 nautical miles out because of all these restrictions. We want to have some flap down. Off to our left there, who's that? I believe that's the thin air. We'll wait till we level out, but goodness me, that's a tight turn. Doing it very well. The uh, 350's handling very well today. Right, who's that across there? What planes we got? One localizer established, he said with the glide path, so no one should you run. So that's the 350 up behind us. Or well, 340, sorry. We're in the 350. <laughs> right, localizer, when captured, we're clear to descend, so when we start to get near it, really. We got all the flaps out and everything. <laughs> we're uh, we're really slowing down for landing here. Ah, I think we've crossed the localizer there. Bring ourselves in. Yeah, sorry, we're turning left zero seven five. We're a little bit far out for one three two one. Yeah, we couldn't quite pick it up. We were t it, it, he gave us the call a little bit earlier than I thought we were. And we were quite a long way away, so let's look how far out we it says it should work. And we're 17, we're quite a long way. But there we go, we'll get it now. Brilliant, 16 nautical miles, and we're slowing up. Seatbelt signs are all on. The uh, the anti-ice is all good, and ice not detected. I'm happy to turn the anti-ice off now. The temperature outside is just plus 6 degrees and plus 2, so we're good. We'll leave the window heat on. Right, normal procedures then. Precision approach. The, v the vote by you says pillow pilot. So we're landing. Approach phase is all good. We're not in managed speed, that's one of the things it does want us to do. There's the runways, we're going into 09 left, far side. So, we'll be looking to get it any minute now. APPPB. No idea. We're putting the gear down any minute now. We're about to hit the uh, the glide slope before we get the localizer, which is a little bit annoying, but that's all right. We hit approach mode there. Cat tree single. Oh, someone over there as well. Wow! Imagine being a passenger; you'd be amazed by how busy it is. I was an Air France cargo seven four seven. Wow! That's busy. Really busy, we've got to get off of this runway quick when we land. Just checking it's gone right then, left there. Right, let's go open the camera. Make sure I'm paying attention. Hello all again. <laughs> okay. I need to make our landing. Right, coming up to 10 miles then. Down here we'll activate the um, yeah, approach mode, get it up. So it looks like we're going to be touching down 133, and 128, look to put it down. Gear go down at 7.5 nautical miles in uh, in this bird, apparently. So we will look for that. We've got tower coming up on our, on our side, ready to switch. 16 knots of wind from the left-hand side. We're established on the localizer and the glide slope. Speed wise, we've got to be careful because we've got traffic both behind us and if. We've got nothing ahead of us, so we might be able to slow down here. Let's slow up. 160. There we go, power's biting back. 
slowing down. Two thousand five hundred. We'll crack open a little bit of spoiler here just to get a bit of help. Seven and a half miles gear going down. They go the gear. Hey, lovely big dual carriage gear here, and they're down. And we've got uh, Daniel right behind us, so we're landing just as we did. So it shows you though, doesn't it? Yeah, we flew in this uh, this little plane. Don't you know this fuel efficient quick plane? Didn't really make a difference really. Right, tables are all stowed. We're ready to go. Six nautical miles. Okay, uh, flap three. Start to slow down a little bit more. One four fifty two or so. Bring it back a little bit. It's wandering quite a lot there. Five coming up to five nautical miles. We don't need to do anything quite yet. We're looking at one thousand feet to be fully established. Tower one one eight point five in a one two two one. Heathrow Tower, Finnair 1331, with you fully established on the localizer. Clear to land runway 09 left, uh, Finnair 1331. Right, should we take manual control? Let's have a bit of fun here. We're on manual. <laughs> right. Oh, God, it is a bit windy, isn't it? Crikey. It's moving around a little bit. Tell you what, it would have been easier to do the autopilot, wouldn't it? Right. Let's get the manage speed on. Let's back that speed up and get flaps full out. There goes flap full. There's flap full indeed. So, a little bit of pitch up. We're, we're losing the glides, looks like, there off the bottom. Our localizer is good. We've got good. The wind's fluctuating quite a lot there. So, that is quite, that's quite a change in wind every now and then. 1,000 feet, that's all good. Traffic behind us, we don't need to worry about. We've got our speeds, we're all good. They'll coordinate. So, pitching up a little bit there because we're dropping. There we go. Getting the throttles with my other hand. We'll be sticking in this view till landing now. We're quite, we were quite low there. Yep. Don't just end. Ooh, it needs a lot more movement than it used to. This is going to be interesting, guys. <laughs> right, holding the nose there. Don't quite know why we were getting so much descent. There we go. Right, there you go. Puppy's coming in. You see that nice displaced weight hold I was talking about? Right. Oh. There we go. 400 feet. That's good. 300 feet. Minimum, continue. We're a little bit low though, so let's just keep that nose a little bit higher than we'd want to to hold that, arrest that descent rate. There we go, don't float though, push it down again. <laughs> oh, yay. oh, a little bit of lag there as well. Right, 700 feet per minute, that's good. Ten. Oh, oh, that's down. Reverse is deployed. Oh, what's the warning for? Not sure. Right, reverses are out. Spoilers are out. We're descending. We're dis <laughs> made it down. <laughs> I was worried we weren't going to do it then. Right, it was um, quite a crazy approach there. Okay, good decel. Auto brakes. Brake low active. 60 knots. Re reverse just as. Uh, what do you say? De undeployed? Yeah. Right, there we go. Slowing back down 30 knots. Grab hold of the nose wheel tiller, which you can't quite see, but it's just a little throttle axis. We'll go right. On to... Whereabouts are we? Oh, Alpha 9 Whiskey. Wow, really early. I thought we were going to be like Alpha 8. Wow, we did quite well. Oh, I forgot to put the, uh, the lights on. My bad. <laughs> That's a late landing clearance. Right, Bravo, Foxtrot, Golf, Stand 327, Finnair, 1331. Uh, Thank you very much. Keep it 
Right. Uh, three two seven, didn't he? That's yeah. So inside T three, so he's got it perfect. That's exactly where we 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 I, I parked when we did it. So that's good fun. Right, we got uh, Daniel landing here. Oh, good. I'm sorry, mate. I literally missed your touchdown. I'm really sorry about that. But we've got him. There he comes. We'll take it nice and slow. We'll bring in our flaps and spoilers. There he is. Right there. If he gets off here, look as well. Which I think he will. It's a big runway here at Heathrow. And there, uh, the stopping distance is, is good. Oh, we've got a little bit of lag going on there. Right, flaps are all up. Bumpy taxi back in. Bit of power. Look at that though. Guys, that is... I'll tell you what, that is... That could be real right there, looking out in front of us, couldn't it? That could, that could be real. I mean, you know, you know, you might say like it's not quite, you know, I don't know, it's not quite uh, clear enough. Whatever, but that is not bad at all. We got a Lufthansa 747 joining us as well here. There's the thinner. Lovely. We got this uh, Lufthansa landing as well. God, it's busy. This is lovely to see that it's this busy. Have to go to work. Oh no! Now the landing rate didn't work, did it? That's a bit odd. Oh, he's floating the German cargo. Got left here. Oh, was he going around? Wow, oh, this is Fox shot here. Hard left. I think he's going around. Oh, he's doing a lower approach. I don't know what he's doing. God, he's going to touch down late. Ah, is he going around? He's put it down. He's put it down late, though. Good lord, that was late. <laughs> God, look how busy it is here. We've got what we've got there. We've got Delta and Alpaca Airways. Ooh. Alpaca, I'm not sure who that is. Is that a streamer? Is that a streamer? Right, where are we off to here? We're going left, aren't we, into the uh, into the little uh, the naughty pen in there. Here comes the A340 behind us, look at that. I'm getting screenshots galore here, don't worry. This is lovely. And here we go, the crazy left-hand turn here through the little middle bit. Going on here, if we sh he stopped on the runway. <laughs> oh no, that's really that's a pain. Someone's going around now. Look at that, we're going through. Let's get a cool screenshot with the um, with the tower in the background. Superb screenshot there. Look at that. Oh. See you later, Casey. Yeah, I've got both of us in there. That's nice. Look at that. Oh, welcome. Welcome to Heathrow, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a fun flight. It's been a long one. But it's been a very, very good one at the same time. We've had a lot of fun. That was, that's been lovely. And I'm looking forward to taking Concorde back to Helsinki. But I tell you what, we will definitely be flying this A350 and certainly probably be flying it in uh, thin air liveries again because that looks lovely right I was stand 327 he was 325 so we're in here on the left so we're using tail sims um, Heathrow airport scenery and I think it's I think it's, I think it's the best personally I think it's fantastically amazing it looks really really good in my opinion we'll have to see oh look 340 making his way in right very slow turning left here for us a bit slow for us I'm an alpaca for you. Oh, that's a bit of shame. Right, here we go. We've got the uh, screen look telling us 
and we're 35900 to keep coming in. Let's get a screenshot as he goes by behind us. Oh, sorry, I'm going very slowly here. <laughs> I want to get in the right spot. Right, straight in then. 25 metres. 20 metres. 14, 12, 10, 9, 8. Oh, bit of break. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 point. Oh, look at that. That is mega. Okay, oh, hit the brakes there. Right, parking brakes set. Parking brakes set. Oh, I didn't click AP start, my bad. Nose light off. Oh, I didn't turn the strobe light off. Oh, God. <laughs> I was, it was all a bit of a rush after landing. I didn't really uh, pay attention there. I was watching everyone land and everything. Got busy. Smoking lights can go off. I'll turn the bleed on and the gen on. I'll just wait till they get going to do anything. Set the gate thing. Sam can come onto auto. 327, there we go. The gate will now connect. There we go. Gate's connecting. The HSBC branded. This is why I recommend Tailsim Scenery, guys. It is fantastic. We've got a gate there connecting to us in HSBC branding. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. And there comes the 340. Look, it's the stand next to us. Absolutely amazing. That is, I tell you what, if Flight Sim gets really, is, you think, you know, Flight Sim accuracy wise, I think this is probably as accurate as it gets. We've just flown into a fantastically real looking scenery in an amazingly good aircraft, and we've just had the gate connect to us on landing. Without really, like, you know, having to bring up a faff or anything, it just does it. Tell you what, guys, that is pretty amazing. We'll shut down the rest of our engines then once it's finished. There we go. Engine one off. Nav lights and logo lights can stay on. Uh, we can turn off the ground hydraulic powers. And turn off the other pumps. Then there we go. Our flight controls will now droop as we lose hydraulic power. And there we are, guys. That He's also parked up next to us in the 350... A350... Uh, no, A340, sorry. It's 770 now. Packer Airways there. And the Delta 777 as well. It's busy here. Oh, we've got KLM 737 there. I'll tell you what, stands at Heathrow are never a problem, are they? Who's this? A Delta A330 on this way out. We will not be flying the default A330 for much flights in, or for X-Plane, rather. When we've got all these lovely options of these planes, we will not be flying that. So. Don't worry. We'll, we'll be sticking to this, I think. this that was I thought that was great fun. Apart from the altitude discrepancy... That was absolutely amazing. So thanks very much to everybody for flying with us. That was really, really good fun. I thought that, uh, I like that a lot. I'm getting loads of screenshots. I hope you are too, Daniel, because that, uh, that is pretty cracking. Tower behind us and everything. Lovely. Shoot up. Where can I go to get the best position? Go up. Oh, go up. Go up. There you go. Let's go there. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to be in the Discord now for about five minutes or so. Uh, to say hi, so thanks so much for watching everybody, Let's, oh I'll tell you what, we'll disconnect and watch the replay, and then we'll reconnect back up onto our stand position here let's just get rid of the camera so you can get full screen so uh, yeah, so we'll disconnect, and uh, we'll connect up in a bit um, Daniel, thank you so much for flying along with us, uh, it's been very very good fun, so thank you for that ah, see your screenshot as well that looks lovely Brilliant. Oh, he's still using the aerosol scenery. Yeah, well, so. Right, we're going to disconnect, watch the replay, and then we'll hop back on to get some cool more screenshots. So let's disconnect, watch the replay. Hopefully the game won't crash, so we've got some nice screenshots there. Let's see if I can get one with the British Airways hangar in the background. That's That's quite cool. Oh yeah, good screenshots. Nice. It's a shame I'm in an alpaca, but uh, that's not too bad. Lovely, right. 
Let's close down Simbrief. I'm just closing up some stuff, guys, and then we'll get watching that replay. So we all want to see how badly I hit the ground, don't we? I'll tell you what, though, I'm just I'm, I'm captivated almost by how amazing it looks. Like it just, wow, blows my mind how good this looks. Absolutely blows my mind. That's that is. I I personally don't know. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get some contested for this, but uh, that, in my opinion, looks better than Microsoft Flight Sim. Do you know what I mean? That looks really good. The aircraft we've got, the uh, the fact that he's matched so well, um, the scenery is fantastic. The water effects are lovely. That is better than Microsoft Flight Sim, for sure. Right, let's clear off and uh, let's get this replay done. So we'll say ciao ciao. Let's hope this works nicely. Toggle replay mode. No! Oh, we lost it. Hmm. That's a real shame. Yeah, it's gone. Let's have a look, see if I can gather it back. Gone. Oh, that's a real shame. I, I wonder why it always does that. I will. Uh, I'll be uh, looking into that because that's uh, not really, not really acceptable, really. Right. Uh, Right. Personally agree. I know it's a real shame, isn't it? We won't see the lovely landing. But um, thanks very much, everybody. And uh, we'll have to all catch you another time. I'm sorry about that uh, replay not working. It's a bit of a shame. See you all next time, guys. Have a nice, uh, have a nice, very nice day. And uh, we'll catch you next week for our uh, great stream in Concord. Bye-bye.